welcome back and I actually have a special friend with me today Ariane. Hello. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> we're kidding. Come no, on. No, we're kidding. We're friends. Ariane is a very awesome artist and Thank she you. is here to help us out with some techniques today. So how about you tell us what you're going to show us today? Okay. What I want to do is show you how to draw two different water animals. One has a more squiggly line like an otter because they know how to swim and an animal with more rigid lines which are oyspray which are like sea eagles uh, you can call them. Oh. So I'm gonna make you a beautiful otter. Awesome. So guys let's start with our squiggly character the otter first. The otters have like that very round face like this and they have very long body, so let's start with a long neck over here that looks like a cylinder. And remember, animals are not people and they have different chests, so chest could be a little like a weird square. And uh, long bodies and long bodies for an, uh, an otter would be better with a, another cylinder. And don't forget a little butt with an oval over here. Let's start a tail, a very big cylinder, and then as you go, you can go from right to left for the tail, and then a little pointy um, form over here, and from the little pointy form, you can continue the tail until it joins the rest of it. And before we start to do the legs or whatever, probably we can do the face first. So remember, if you don't know where to put a, the eyes or nose or whatever, try to do a little cross like this. Because crosses, what we'll do is that will help you find where you can put noses and eyes and everything. Otters have like that other little uh, circle in their face, like for their muzzle, the two lines in the cross joined together, that's where you can put the nose. So a little circle in the middle of the middle circle, which is like not far from the, the lines that joins here. <clears throat> now let's do the rest of the muzzle. So. And since I have little ears, so probably little circles on top here, just to make little ears over here. And then from the chest, which is the square form you see here, you can draw little circles to know where you can put the their elbows and then try to draw the leg. The, not the legs, sorry, the arms with another circle and then you can do their paws over here and join the rest of it which will make it easier to find where to put their paws and the rest of their arms. You can finish here with the muzzle, with lips. You can do the same process that you do with the arms for the legs as well. Join the rest of the tail. 
And don't forget otters have that those little whiskers and everything, so probably try to not forget to put little dots here and then draw their little whiskers over here. And they and also in their eyebrows they have little whiskers, so don't forget to put the little whiskers also on the top of their eyebrows. Try to darken their eyes to give them a little more personality. So here you go guys, uh, you have a nice friendly otter already drawn before you. So cute. Now we're going to do another animal very different from our otter here. We're going to draw an ice prey, or you can call it a seahawk if you want, which are more like rigid form. Birds of prey look like more serious. What we can do is start with the face. So a kind of a square face, not a perfect square, but something like this would be nice to start with. And probably a little triangle here because noses of a bird of prey are very different, especially when you do a little type of triangle here. And try to do a very strong neck, which is like more of a rectangle like this. If you're not sure where to put the eye in a bird of prey it's very easy do a cross but not the same cross as a circular face like you see here but more like a type of a diamond kind of square and you know that this diamond here will show you where to put the eyes so you have a more triangle type of eyes like And always pray you have those funny kind of eyebrows that look that seems as if they're super serious. So. Birds of prey have very strong chests because they need to fly very high in the sky. So let's start with uh, probably a line here to form like a type of diamond. It's not perfect, but it seems like a strong chest enough. And if you don't know where to put the wings, what you can do is just draw like a, a type of um, diamond form over here. And then draw another diamond, and, or probably more a triangle like this. And then you're going to follow the triangle to your left and do like a, another triangle, which will look like at the end of a diamond. Wow, that's complex. Yeah. It's complex, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see it'll go very easy. And probably do the tail. If you see the diamond here, you can draw another diamond like this. So that's gonna be our tail, the tip of the wing, and don't forget, strong legs. So probably a circle for once here. Um, cylinder another circle, another cylinder, circle, be sure that talons starts with those like little fingers and then on the tip of those little fingers you have those big claws. Oh, wow. So make sure you have this, big claws over here, like a little here and here. I guess they must pick up fish with those. Yes. Imagine there's fish, how slippery they are. So if they could grab it as well as they can, mm -hmm. they'll have a meal. A little toupee because they have like that weird toupee that makes them fun. Get a little smile. I guess they're friends. <laughs> I guess they are really good friends. <laughs> this 
So here we go guys, you have two different sea animals over here. One that's more like a squiggly guy and the other one is a more serious and rigid one. Just little tips to show you how you can draw two different animals with two very different type of shapes. So. <clears throat> wow, thank you so much, Ariane. You're welcome, Michelle. This is more advanced lesson than what we've been doing, which is good because I know that some of you want to be pushed a little bit harder. You can also build your own variations of an otter and a bird of prey. And I hope you will send those drawings in to me so I can show them on the art club. Yes. And before we go, I'm going to have Ariane Ooh. open the art club mailbox. Oh. <laughs> what can it be? So let's see. Oh my gosh. You guys, we were talking about sea animals, so we have a little blue seal over there that's super cute. <laughs> it's kind of like an otter in a way, right? Yes. You see, you guys, like the shapes and everything. I would say probably more squiggly. Yeah, a fun squiggly guy. More round shape. Blue and seal. seal. <laughs> mm -hmm. And speaking of rigid forms, mm -hmm. we oh have <laughs> a car, race car. The rigid forms uh, here, they're like our little uh, bird of prey over here, which are more triangular. Aerodynamic. Aerodynamic. Kind of because when the oyster prey has to fish, it has to like plunge into water. <laughs> Just don't plunge your car. Please don't plunge your car. Okay, well, thanks so much. Thank and you, Michelle. We will see you again. Of course. Can't wait. See you guys.